is a Bramble Jam podcast. <laughs> Groovy to see you <laughs> on April 13th, 2021. Take the day off! UFOs? Take me to your leader. Take me to your leader now. Take me to your leader now. Take me there. Take me there. Take it there. Take the day. There's a bell, there's a bell, and 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 no, that is uh, that that is. I don't know why you care. I don't know what's out there. I don't know where or how. Just take, take me to your leader, leader now. now. Take me to your leader now. That album's a banger. Guys, I do gotta say, like Newsboys, the old old Newsboys, early '90s. Take me to your leader is the best Newsboys album. I said it. I stand by it. There is no other correct answer. Uh, after God's not dead, of course. <laughs> He surely left. Living <laughs> on the inside. I don't like the whisper that tape does there yeah, at the end. It's weird. Oh, God. Oh, oh it gets me the No, absolutely every time. not. No way. The last thing I want is for tape to be whispering hey, to me. Boy. Ew. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Man, today's an exciting day, Dan. Is it? It's International Be Kind to Lawyers Day. Yeah, I don't know why we got to do that. <laughs> Lawyers help. Lawyers, lawyers. Wow. We have a lawyer on retainer. Um, he's not great, <laughs> but he's all we could afford. Um, Daryl, Daryl Bevins, attorney at law. Well, Daryl Evans, yeah. Uh, Daryl, now you were telling us uh, yes. why you charge the fee that you charge, which is way lower. Your retainer is, tw- and I want to make sure I get this right, $25 and a Mr. Pip. Yes, well, I need I uh, I need to be honest with you. When okay. I got started in the business... I uh, needed some dental work. Okay. And I was under the impression that I came up with the word retainer. Uh, the whole goal was to have, you know, for my work to pay for my retainer. Yeah. And um, when I learned later on in life that retainer was not only something I did not invent, but also something that I should be charging abundantly more for. <laughs> Uh, I just couldn't go back on my word. Okay, so you still only do 25 and a Mr. Pib. Yes. What's the Mr. Pib part of that? Uh, I give it to my neighbor, Joni. Is that is that Johnny or Joni? Jody. Joni. Joni. Okay. Like Shoney. Remember Shoney? Shoney? Shoney yeah, band? I do remember Shoney's. Yeah. So Johnny, Janie, Joni likes the... Uh, Joni. Joni likes the Mr. Pib. Yes, and I like Joni. Okay. <laughs> Works out well. Do you need any legal advice today? Uh, I think we're good. How do I get rid of my attorney? Mm, well, <laughs> I uh, I mean, I can look at the contract that I wrote for you. Okay. But it's going to cost you. How much? $20 to Mr. Pim. Okay. I think I can handle it. God bless. God bless. Daryl Bevins, everybody, attorney at law. He's good. He, He's he good. makes us say Esquire, which is, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I don't think he is an Esquire, but he says... He might be, Darryl though. Daryl Bevins, Esquire. He might be, though. Right. And I think that's the key. He only has Esquire magazines in his office. <laughs> and when I say office, I obviously mean the restroom and the QT uh, down the road there. Um, he gets in the stall. And it's... it's a, I love a good QT. It's weird. QT is great. QT is great. Yeah. Um, have you ever had a bad lawyer experience, Dan? Yeah, for sure I've had a bad lawyer experience. No doubt about it. I haven't. I've never needed to get a lawyer. Um, I've needed to get a lawyer for a few different things. Right. Yeah. But you have not. You've never. Oh, yeah. You really have never needed a lawyer. Ever. Yeah. Why would I need a lawyer? Wow. Interesting. Like when you buy a house or, you know, I got injured at UPS on the job one time and there was a workers comp like in Missouri, you have to get a lawyer for this workers comp claim, Um, you know, and just things like that. We've had to get a lawyer a few times for deck the hallmark. Yeah, but but I don't deal with it. You don't deal with any of that. I deal with it. Yeah. So you've needed a lawyer, but you've not actually had to do it yourself. That's probably a better way to say it. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. More than fair. Lawyers are suckers, though. 
They're suckers? Yeah, if you think about it. Wow. Um, I was talking to a lawyer the other day. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't an actual lawyer. He was a part of the lawyer family, Todd Lawyer. Todd Lawyer. And yeah, yeah, um, yeah. he was just, man, he is having a the tough go The lawyer family. He's having a tough go They of are it. suckers. You're yes. right. That's accurate. He's having a tough go of it. And I actually, it got confusing because I was trying to encourage him to reach out and find a lawyer and he was like, I am one. And he's like, yeah, so it was a whole, was was a whole circles. You went. who's yeah, on yeah, first yeah, that situation. Yeah, that makes sense. But we finally got to the nitty gritty of it. And he said, you want to know the interesting thing about lawyers? <laughs> and I said, you or the occupation. He said the occupation. Yeah. yeah. Um, he said that you, Dan knows about international be kind of lawyers day. That was unprompted. The, that was unprompted. But once we got past the fact that we weren't talking about his family. Yeah. And we were talking about the occupation. But he he uh, gave he me said that the answer. interesting thing about lawyers. Yes, is that Dan knows about international be kind to lawyers day. Which, if you think about it, that is the interest. That is probably the most interesting thing about lawyers. Yes. Yeah, that's tough, man. But I mean, do, I, do I, you? I I do. Yeah. I do. In fact, well. I think we all remember the lawyer buddy. Um, <laughs> It was a toy sold to children uh, in the 70s and 80s. Think of like a Teddy Ruxpin, but instead it was a lawyer, like in a suit and tie. Um, and Lawyer Buddy was designed to bring out that inner attorney uh, in all the little tykes. And they would carry it around and it would say things like, I'm going to sue your pants off. <laughs> uh, and, and tort reform, more like... <laughs> that was all I would say. Um, but... One of the things that the lawyer would, the, the, the lawyer buddy would say, obviously, was be kind to me. And I don't know why it would say that because <laughs> everything else is said was really, really mean. Like it would say a lot of mean things like, you're out of order with that smell. And, and I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Love the lawyer buddy. I don't man. know why it would say with that, with that smell. Um, but <laughs> oh, I love the lawyer. But there were buddy. a lot of things it would say. But it, the one thing, you know, every now and then it would say, "Be kind to me." And the lawyer buddy didn't didn't sell particularly well uh, amongst the child children. <laughs> Um, but the makers of Lawyer Buddy decide instead to, to establish an international Be Kind to Lawyers Day, and it was much more successful, as we still celebrated it today in 2021. I love the idea of a kid's toy that <laughs> talks smack to you, yeah. but just sprinkles in a Be Kind, be kind to, me. to Me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you suck. Yeah. Yeah, when you say me. that, that's just no. those words aren't appropriate you smell. for children. You're out of order uh, with that smell. Steve Hughes, you know Steve. He oh. created this holiday in 2008 um, as a public speaking coach. Oh, boy. So he doesn't publicly speak he uh, himself. Coaches he coaches others on how to public speak? <laughs> yes, yes. I want that job has, right now. Yes. Uh, I will do that. You pay me money, I will 100% tell you how to speak in front of people. I can do that. He Easy. has... Um, no experience. He just, he just. Do you uh, think we should offer uh, motivational speaking, like just on the website? Like you can have Dan and Brand come out and just give motivational speeches to like your staff or your, dun, dun, you know, dun, your company. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Lord rain it. Why is it that song? That's the song that we run out for a to. church. Yeah. That's the song we We're run out to. Doing this. Yeah. I. I. I uh, Do you believe that you can? Do you believe in life after love? What if all, all all of our motivational speeches were just songs, song. lyrics? That's right. Uh, give me love. Any way you want it. Give that's me liberty. The way disco. you need it. <laughs> um, Steve Hughes. Yeah, he's a Stevie. public speaking coach. Yeah, and he worked with lawyers on their presentation skills and found that many people had negative opinions about the profession when they found out that he worked with lawyers. Interesting. And Steve thought that lawyers deserved respect at least one day a year. Lawyers and get plenty of respect. And so he chose the second Tuesday in April because it falls between April Fool's Day and U.S. Tax Day. Interesting. Yeah, that's a good time to do it. So I like it. Are. That makes sense. Here we are. Tax day. I love the question I mean, this week. Lawyer day. What's a silly law that exists where you live? That's exactly right. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about those silly laws. Uh, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> so silly. Here on Take the Day Off.
Welcome Hello. back to Take the Day Off. It's your good boys, Brandon, uh, Brandon Dan. Are we dogs? <laughs> Who's a good boy? <laughs> He's us. He's us. Brandon, good boys. Roll over. Who's Spin around. Boy. Oh. oh. Uh, that was someone. Uh, Get, that was yeah. a pet. Uh, uh, hey, what's a uh, what's a silly law that exists where you the live? blue laws? This is the easiest answer ever for South Carolina. Yeah. Uh, all like ten years ago, you couldn't buy any alcohol on Sunday, any because I, apparently, you know, it would offend our Lord. I don't, I don't know why you couldn't do that. I don't know why, but they still you can buy alcohol on Sunday now, but you cannot buy hard alcohol on Sunday. So now you can go and get beer and wine on Sunday. But if you wanted like some Jack Daniels, you couldn't buy it on Sunday. Still right now in South Carolina. And can what, you still like the, but though like uh beer, can beer still not be sold like outside of city limits? Every, Sunday? every county has had to do their own ordinance with it. I think I want to say just adopted. Okay. Just Cause, well, Cause I think downtown Greenville's, open for yeah. business but when you get out of downtown out towards the outside the city i think there's still limitations on some of them beer. and here's the thing that's crazy is during the week you can't buy liquor after 7 p.m it's a, it's after if it's, it's after sunset <laughs> it's after seven you know we're no good deed you know you can't the street lights come on you can't buy the alcohol and here's the thing if you're you know in a normal state and thinking what in the world but it does change like with with um daylights no like, no no it's it seven doesn't anymore? regardless it's, it's seven, seven regardless. regardless i always it heard used, that it, yeah that's when the be. sun goes yeah, down yeah, true story uh and here's the thing is if you're thinking hey on <laughs> sunday on Sunday, can I go to a restaurant like my local Applebee's and can I order a shot of Jack Daniels? Yes, you can. <laughs> you can do that all Sunday long until they close. But if you want to go to the liquor store, you can't do that on Sunday. It's the dumbest thing in the world. When we moved to St. Louis. But it also depends on where the Applebee be, Applebee be. No, it doesn't. It in, does. Any restaurant that has a liquor license can serve alcohol on Sunday. 100% can do it in the state. Okay. It doesn't matter. But selling wholesale liquor can't do it. Huh. It is bonkers. Are you I, positive about that with I the am, restaurants? I am. I moved. Because I remember there was a big push not too long ago from restaurants saying that this is going to affect their business because of different liquor laws or something. There's different blue laws in every city. But in South Carolina, and so there, but I'm, I'm almost positive. Now, 15 years ago, that wasn't the case. Sure. But now it is. Um, Having said that, South I'm, Carolina Hampton. I'm, it is not. I moved to St. Louis, Missouri, and I remember going to the grocery store, walking in, and the liquor was sold in the grocery store. Like, if you wanted to buy Jack Daniels at Sunday morning at 9 a.m., have at it. It didn't matter. You could buy it whenever, wherever Shakira was on board. I, I don't like in <laughs> South, in South Carolina. Different story. Separate store for you can't sell beer and liquor in the same store. It's crazy town. Yeah, I could go all day about this. Yes. Did you think of a different one? No, that's it. That's no. the one for sure. And my, but my, uh, I, I do know, like, uh, here's a very specific law of, oh, I don't know, like Bob Jones, where not too long ago you had to walk on o opposite, uh, sidewalks as the opposite sex. That's ridiculous. Like he couldn't even, uh, oh my gosh, it's a sidewalk, uh, sidewalk and that's sitch. like not long ago. No, oh, everything with Bob Jones that you hear and you're like, what was that, 1948? And it's like 2004. Oh, it was in the 2000s. Oh, no. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, it, speaking of St. Louis, Megan Vollmer says, in the city of St. Louis, you cannot sit on a curb and drink beer out of a bucket. You can sit on a chair, stand on a curb, et cetera, and drink beer from a bucket, but you cannot sit on a curb and drink beer from a bucket. No, and I think that's actually yeah, fair. Because, that's more than fair. Because, listen, the curb doesn't deserve that. Um, Sarah says that in Vermont, the entire state of Vermont, it is illegal to have um, special time with a moose. Wow. It's a law. That which is she not says does beg the question. Who made that? Why does that exist? Necessary. Uh Christina Meadows says it's illegal in Kentucky to carry an ice cream cone in your back pocket. So initially you'd ask, why would you do that? But people used to steal horses that way, shove the sugar cone in the back pocket. And, and then the horse, I guess, would follow them home. Interesting. So it makes sense. At least that is crazy town. 
Um, Jocelyn says it's illegal to fall asleep under a hair dryer in Florida. Wow. And that, I mean, that's uh, safe. Yeah, I would say so. How about Kira telling us that it's illegal to whale fish in Nebraska? I got to look that one up. Why would anyone be whale fishing in Nebraska? That is, I, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's illegal to sing in a bathtub in Pennsylvania, says Nicole. Man, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, Andrea says you can't sleep naked in the state of Minnesota. You Okay. Wow. Can't move there. <laughs> got them. <laughs> it, Rick, get your pants on. No, I've got my pants on now. But when I sleep, stark naked. That is not what I see, pal. Well. They're they're they're, uh, they're invisible pants. Are they the nude pants? Nude pants. <laughs> You've been you have been pushing these nude pants oh, for years. They're by Jordash. <laughs> You've been pushing Is that your ash? No, it's Jordash. You've been push. <laughs> You've been pushing these nude pants for years. You come up to me and you say, "Hey, hey, check out these nude pants," and there's nothing there. And you keep being like, just feel it. And then that turns into a whole HR thing. Rick, there is no good way to sell these nude pants. Because you, how do you convince someone that they're there? Jordashpants.com slash nude. <laughs> Hard pass, pal. Jordash. Uh, Michelle says insane. I tried really? to get them sold in journeys. <laughs> Turns out nobody goes into journeys. It would have been a bad business move, and I don't make those. My contracts are ironclad. Yeah, uh, they are. Going to sell them at Brookstone. As you sit here in your nude pants. Nude pants. There's nothing we can do. Michelle, so Michelle says in St. Louis, a milkman may not run while on duty. Yeah. No, no, no. You don't want to spill Well, you don't want to spill milk, and you don't want to cry over that. You don't that. want to cry over that. Uh, we we did, did, everybody. Congratulations uh, to <laughs> us all. And you for listening. Um, question for tomorrow. What is the most interesting thing you've observed in the sky? What? It's a very specific question. What is the most interesting thing you've observed in the sky? In the sky. We will get to those and more tomorrow. But until then, take the day off. We'll leave you with Aiku. Hey, guys. It's uh, Shaloya here. Uh, but thought I'd uh, read one for you that I wrote. Okay. Do you remember your name, lawyer? That's not important. Boy... Do I love it when you come outside and see me holding Mr. Pibb? I thought he said he didn't like Mr. Pibb. It was Joni. I think what it's if a you for listened, Joni. When 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 I when you walk out and, and see me holding Mr. Pibb, so I think he was writing like what a sight it is to see you walk outside and see me. I got you. I think it was. I it's, got you. it's over your head. Whatever. Yeah, it's definitely over my head.